Hello everybody and welcome back to our uh, Kid EF spinoff for Star Trek Online as we continue chasing down this Federation uh, spy that uh, we had captured back during the tutorial who has now managed to escape and actually get off of Kronos. Go ahead and make our way after him. On the front lines of the Klingon Federation War, brave captains from both sides battle to defend their homes and gain advantages for their faction. Each death has meaning, every victory can turn the tide. These are the conflicts that will determine the fate of the Quadrant. Okay, so, Boreth 2. Um, well, if you've watched my... my uh, Federation STO series, you already know what it says here for Boreth, so I'm, well, eh, no guarantee people watch that, so I'll read it. When Decalus the Unforgettable left his empire, he pointed to a star and announced that he would one day return at that point of light. The Boreth system is that star, and in tribute to the promise of Kalus, a monastery there holds a revered order of Klingon monks who keep the memory of the promise alive. Captain, the warp trail ends here. What are your orders? Put out a wideband hail on all channels. I want to let him know who he's dealing with. Opening hailing frequencies. If he's out there, he'll hear it. And soon he will know the folly of defying the Klingon Empire. Captain, I recommend modifying the navigational beacons in this system to amplify our efforts in locating the prisoner. Will do. Okay, this character, that did not disappear. Okay, beacon realigning. Beacon modified. Nothing yet. We should modify another beacon. Thank you for the advice, Chagrin. This beacon to realign. Got him. Establishing a communication link now. Hey, hail him. You? I am impressed. I thought Doran was the right choice for command, but apparently even I can be wrong. The KDF will do well with you in their ranks. You have the tenacity of a rabid targ. Cut the flattery and cut your engines. You're going back to Kronos with me. As much as I might deserve to rot in a Klingon jail cell and be interrogated to within an inch of my life on a daily basis, I have unfinished business. It's time I was going. I'll follow you to Earth itself if that's what it takes. I don't doubt that you would. However, I always have an escape plan. I've planted a tiny subroutine in all Starfleet computers. If any vessel arrives in the Boreth system, their sensors will pick up distress beacons from dozens of destroyed Starfleet starships. In addition, when we started this conversation, I sent out a few false maydays from these phantom vessels. <laughs> ships are already responding. Now, I'm going to say this. Again, any of you who have watched my Federation STO series, you will know with the two new missions added in the anniversary, they mentioned that Ever since the Fakiri, who we will meet later on in the, uh, this character, or that we'll have to deal with later on on this character, um, ever since they've returned to our space, they've apparently been attacking Boreth fairly regularly. Uh, so if, if we assume that this subroutine still exists by that point in time, every time the Fakiri come in and attack Boreth for the upteenth time, the Federation gets a whole bunch of distress signals from, or distress beacons, from dozens of destroyed Starfleet ships that don't actually exist. As a result, the Federation will be constantly coming to Boreth to deal with the Fakiri. 
which just seems very weird as a concept. Particularly at this time before you get to the whole uh, alliance situation that exists in those new missions. Um, or, well, prior to those new missions, technically. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. You've proven yourself to be a skilled warrior already, so I'm sure you know that Kalis said it was acceptable to lose a battle to save an empire. Or a ship. I suggest you leave before Starfleet arrives. Let's end communication. Captain, you're being hailed by one of the Starfleet vessels. This ought to be interesting. Put them on screen. Klingon bird of prey, power down your weapons and shields, and prepare to be boarded. That day shall never come, Vulcan. Not as long as I draw breath. Our sensors are detecting several Federation distress beacons in this area. This trap is obviously your handiwork. Surrender now, or we will be forced to open fire. So much for the famous Vulcan intellect. Check your sensors again. The beacons are as plain as... Curious. They are no longer transmitting. Engineering, run a level 3 diagnostic on the sensors. Bah, enough talk. All hands, battle stations. Kapla. Because obviously they're just going to make us sit around here as they run their level 3 diagnostic, which will take a while. And uh, yeah, we're not going to sit around here and wait for that. I think we might have just missed getting this guy with the ambush. I should have saved the torpedoes for the second target here. Another Starfleet vessel has entered the system. Uh, Roger, Roger. Attention, Klingon ships. We are here on a rescue operation. Oh yeah, the ship doesn't have enhanced battle cloak. You guys sent a Prezito class for a... Okay, sure. Uh, do you mind not tractor beaming me? Please and thank you. Here. There's another contact on the scanners! Get out of... Have in our sector. Uh, no idea, but let's get out of here. Or maybe not, because these are freaking Mirandas or some shit, so they're ridiculously fast. Do you mind, guys? Do you mind? I want a cloak. There we go. Thank you. Stay back. Let me cloak. I'll come back in. And we'll try this again, guys. Let's, uh, come in. I wish I had torpedo spread, but there is no torpedo spread that goes into the ensign slot. Okay, so... I'm not going to be able to get... all three hits. I'll get two at most. Uh, actually, maybe I got all three. I'm not sure. Already over. We're ready to leave the system on your command. Uh, no loot or anything, so yep. Uh, I don't really care for the ore. Art. And contact command. It is. Unfortunate that the prisoner has eluded your search. That said, 
You did uncover a Federation spy nest in the heart of First City. We've deciphered their infiltration techniques and are cracking down on their spy network within the Empire. One of my prison guards was impressed with your tenacity and asked to be reassigned to your crew. You would be wise to accept it. Very well. We'll take a Gorn science officer. There is work to do. I'll go aboard Thrak. Uh, I believe it's... We'll just do this. Okay, uh... And Manhunt, which is the first mission in which we have... Okay, yeah. Got ten of there. That's stuff I don't care about, to be honest. Um, as I was saying, uh, we will, with Manhunt, have our first slain enemy of the Empire. Which, this one doesn't really matter. The main one I'm looking forward to is bringing down the house. Because that gets us the new um, Machala refit bird of prey. That's that's still a little ways out. Let's go ahead. This episode, I think I'll go ahead and probably finish off the Empire story arc. Because this is uh, yeah, only about 11 minutes so far. So let's do Manhunt. We have identified the Federation prisoner you've been chasing. His name is Franklin Drake. Some of our sources say he's a Starfleet intelligence agent. But there are hints that he's much more. From what I can tell, he's not part of the normal chain of command. Previously, we didn't have any images or genetic samples from him, which is why he was so hard to identify. Now, we'll be on him the second he shows his face again. We already have a lead for you to follow. Records indicate a Klingon shuttle entered space above the Rurapenthe penal colony. That system is restricted, and there was no traffic scheduled for today. You are authorized by the High Council to approach the system and determine if Drake is there. Bring him back alive, if you can. We'll try, but no promises, Warden Gazan. There is work! Yep, there's work to be done. Transwarp on over to Rurapente. And begin manhunt. This is Warden Kartok of the Rura Penthe Penal Colony. You do not have authorization to land. Turn back now. Any attempt to violate our security perimeter will be met with force. Our authorization comes from Chancellor Jimpak himself. It is unwise to stand in the way of his representatives. Unless, of course, you'd like to become a resident of your own prison. My apologies, Kalekanes. I am honored to meet you. What do representatives of the High Council seek at Rura Pente? We seek a Federation fugitive. There are no Federation corps on Rura Pente. Are you aware enemies of the Empire should be killed, not fed and coddled like infants? It appears the spy is as good at getting into prisons as he is at escaping them. Check your sensor logs, Warden. He is here, somewhere. Our security logs are checked every quarter hour as per regulation. There have been no transfers in or out of the colony within the last day. Only two ships have entered the system today. Yours and a Klingon shuttle. The shuttle left the system hours ago. You are still here. Your arrogance is tiresome, Warden. Produce your sensor logs at once. Our logs clearly indicate the shuttle left the system hours ago. There have been no transfers. All prisoners in this colony are either accounted for or dead. Your trail has gone cold. 
Enough. We will beam down and examine the logs in person. Ready to beam down on your command, Captain. There is a magnetic field covering the entire penal colony to prevent prisoners from escaping via transporter. We'll have to beam down to the outskirts of the magnetic field and walk to the entrance. Very well. Beam down. Guess we're taking Jessica gone with us. Halt! Where do you think you are going? I have business with the warden. You may have crossed the magnetic shield, but your visit is unannounced, and you will follow protocol. No one simply wanders around this prison. I will escort you to the warden. Lead on, guard. You will follow me. Yeah, yeah, go, walk. Wow, this is not a long walk to the warden, dude. You make it sound like it's gonna take forever. Warden, the visitors are here. I can see them, Rogas! Hello, Warden. Your presence here is unnecessary. The only Federation citizens on Rura Penry are frozen into the ice. But don't let me dissuade you from your manhunt. Order the guards to search. My guards will stay where they are. If there was a breach, it would have tripped the alarms. Our security system is quite advanced. This is a prison, after all. But please, examine the security system for yourself. If you refuse to accept the word of the prison's warden, that is. Drake is here. We will find him. You dare to question the honor of a warrior of the House of Torg? You may be representatives of Jempak, but you'll taste my blade if you insult me again. Go! See for yourself. You'll only find the Padak dumped here to rot. Your incompetence will speak for itself. Follow me to the general holding area. My understanding is Kardal here should have like a big giant marker over his head telling me where he is. Take one of the Jackal Mastiffs with you to sniff out treachery. Okay. Unlock the security field. Enter query. Grant access to prisoner area. Interrogate the prisoners, Captain. One of them may have spotted the fugitive. There is a priority target in the area. Stay alert. Nice to know that they don't hide him, because holy crap, that's a big marker. It's kind of hard to miss. Expected, but there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we're not outmatched. You want to fight? Them's fighting words. As I was saying before, we got interrupted. Here that I don't care about. Let's go ahead. Where's the human? I ain't seen nothing, and I don't know nothing. Right, that's what they all say. Where's the human? We got nothing to talk about. That's what you think. Where's the human? You gotta get me out of here. I'm innocent. They all claim to be innocent. Where's the human? I have not seen a human here. Right, like I'm gonna believe you. Um, oh, for a second there, I thought you were a human. 
You kind of look like one. From the glance I got at you before. Where's the human? Is, is this an inspection? No, I'm asking where the human is. I believe someone is following you, Captain. Turn around. Yes, I can see that. Eavesdropper, why are you following me? None of these prisoners will help you. They can sense danger far better than you can. And they know the risks of getting involved in a fight that's not theirs. How do you know this? Because I'm not a patak like the warden and his cousin. Have you asked yourself, why would a human come to Rura Pente? He's after something or someone. The human is here to extract a prisoner. There are no other alternatives. If he was coming to kill someone, then he's a koch. All he needed to do was wait. Everyone sent to this hole dies. Most are dead within a year. You seem well informed for a prisoner. Are you questioning my honor? If you think you're safe because you hold a weapon, you're mistaken. The only thing standing between you and a cold grave is my patience. Bold words for a prisoner. Someday I'll teach you a lesson for testing my resolve. The human is here, but it is a complicated situation. You must do exactly as I say. We are surrounded by enemies, and you will need my help to survive. Why should I trust a criminal? The only crime I've committed was thinking there could be peace between the great houses. And all you need to know is that I am a Klingon warrior with the information you need. Follow me, and I will take you to the one the prisoners call the Worm. Show me where he is. The Worm is over by the mine entrance. There you are. I was wondering if I'd lost you. You're a fool to come here. Don't try to play coy with us. You have the subterfuge skills of a wounded tar. Did you think no one here would notice a new prisoner? Or that no one would notice when you tampered with the air exchangers? What are you after, Drake? I see you've found a new friend. Look, if I had the time to explain, I would. But I'm on a tight schedule. And you took your time getting here. If you want to know what's really going on, you'll have to ask your new friend. I need to be going. What? Follow him! He's running for the surface! Go ahead. Get all these nice juicy melee kills that the game's gonna line up for us. So it is a little bit harder with our guys using ranged weapons and killing some of our enemies for us. I uh, don't know what you're doing here. game. There we go. That's the combo I was trying to do. So I could hit multiple people. You know, maybe kill some of them a little bit faster. Uh, I noticed that some of you guys are just sort of accepting your fate, it seems. I mean, if you want to just do that, I won't stop you. Oh, shit, somebody killed my Jackal Mastiff. Okay, you say kill the guards, but then you just sort of stand there. Gorn. Take out whatever the hell you are. 
Okay, there's some prisoners out over here. Uh, oh, hello, you. Again, some of you people blend in these corners just a little too well. Not sure uh, where that prisoner sits. You are, are you armed or are you unarmed? Um, you seem to be unarmed. Okay, that's all the unarmed ones. Okay, there's actually more unarmed prisoners than there are needed to be killed to get to 100%. Because that makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Somebody's stuck in a wall back here. Okay, well, uh, can't help you there, bro. <laughs> He's gonna be stuck on the wall. Guess we're not getting to 100% on that unless there's some more out here to kill. Which there are. And I don't know if they're actually armed or not. Uh, you don't seem to be armed. Where are you running? Why? Where were you running? You were running as if you were trying to make your way to gone. And yet, that doesn't make any sense. Because apparently you were targeting me, but whatever. Go on. Drake? Oh, you're not Drake. Hurry! We have to stop him! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worm has slithered to the surface. We need to stop him before he can reach the edge of the magnetic shield. I promise that I'll explain everything once we track him down. Very well. The human is trying to cross the ice. We need to hurry before he gets outside the magnetic shield. He has a shuttle. In that case, we don't have any time to waste. It will be difficult to track his movements in this flurry. We can use the jackal to track him. Jackal, go find Drake. There's some other jackals. Over here. Those were wild jackals. Keep a lookout for more. They travel in packs. Yeah, I could kind of tell because there were three of them or four. Oh, they survive on the surface. They must feed on the corpses of dead prisoners. Quit running in circles around me. Kemta, you said you would explain why you were thrown into Rura Pente. I am a diplomat. My peaceful words were called treason. How can there be peace? We are at war! 
Uh, okay, this heals me based on damage dealt now. Clearly never read the works of Chancellor Gorkov. Capabilities, whatever that entails exactly, I don't know. Now, let me ask you a question. How can we win a war if we can't stop fighting one another? Honor must be upheld. Uh, okay, that's 50% increased physical damage. I hear you. Still, killing one another for honor blinds us to greater threats. Damn jackal growling at me. I took a look at something real quick and stopped following. Like, you weren't that far ahead of me. No need reason to be throwing a hissy fit. Drake, nice to see you again, again, again. Impressive. Your determination is commendable. You can't escape, Drake. There's more at stake here than dealing with a lone human on a mission of mercy. In fact, our intelligence says you have very little time left to act. What are you talking about? Our friend here discovered that one of the great houses is plotting against the Empire. He's correct but his curiosity cost him. Now you and Alexander, I'm sorry, Kemtar, will both have a chance for glory. Kemtar, your father still has friends in the Federation. They believe he's in great danger. I recommend a trip to the Vor system. There you'll find out just how big of a mess you're in and find the proof that Worf will want. Kemtar, how do you know this human? I don't. He and I have never met. But as I told you, the story is complicated. What you need to know is that he speaks the truth. There is a plot against the Empire, and it is not the Federation's doing. Our true enemies are closer than we realize. If we want to protect our people, we must go to the Vor system and see what is there. Why should I trust either of you? I don't care if you trust me. Kemtar, tell your father that obligations have been met. Only you can decide how you'll deal with the greater threat. What is this greater threat? The only threat you should be worried about is me. Rogaz, you followed us? You're a miserable Karut. Not only have you broken penal colony protocol, but you've meddled in the affairs of House Torg. I don't care if Kemtar is innocent. We were paid a great deal of latinum to keep this piece of Vakhtar locked up. He's not leaving here, and neither are you. You're a corrupt Forshock. Yeah. Forshock. Sure. Weird word. That's my cue to exit. Good. No, Drake. You're staying. Those guards are imaginary, apparently. Those two are figments. Definitely don't exist. Oh. Rogaz, oh, I already kind of killed you. How are you going to bug out on me? Okay. Now these two decide that they exist. If Rogaz could find us. We can expect more guards soon. For whatever reason, those two needed to wait a little while before they were allowed to be targetable. We have a ship in orbit. We should beam up as soon as possible and discuss what has happened. Okir, oh, do you read me? We read you, Captain. What are your orders? We're ready for transport. Beam us up. We can't get a lock on your position, Captain. You must still be within range of the magnetic field. That is not what I wanted to hear. We will bring the ship down to the surface to pick you up, Captain. Excellent idea. Make it quick. We might need more warriors. If we head for higher ground, it will be easier for your ship to locate us. Agreed. Look up ahead. The Warden and the guards are approaching. Well, more like teleporting in, or beaming in, but sure, approaching. Warden. 
You dishonorable dog! When the High Council hears what Jempak's representatives have done here today, they will order your immediate execution! So, it looks like his four prison guards he brought with him are like, uh, what is it? What would it be? Quadruplets? Yeah, I guess quadruplets, because they're all the exact same model. There's literally no variation on them whatsoever. Um, at least as far as I can tell. Like, they didn't even bother changing the facial hair or ridges or anything like that on any of them. How much were you paid to hold an innocent man? Enough to keep us warm long after you're dead. We get paid whether Kemtar lives or dies. So before I kill you, I'll offer you the coward's choice of surrender. I think you're forgetting something. What am I forgetting, Tosha? My starship, Jagren now. Surprise! Gone enjoyed that very much. A fitting end to a band of dishonorable fools. I trust you're ready to leave this freezing, miserable place, Captain. In many ways, I think Rurapente is worse than Grethor itself. Uh, yes, I can kind of understand that opinion. Drake said we should go to the Vor system. What would we possibly find there? Whatever is there, it is a threat to the Klingon Empire. We must find evidence to show the Council. <laughs> Huh, I never noticed that Jekyll Mastiffs had this, like, giant horn that goes out and down. Because uh, it, it, it's not a tooth. It's, like, coming out of where their nose would be. I guess maybe it's, like, more like a tusk? I don't... I don't know. Whatever it is. Uh, agreed, Kimtar, Alexander, whatever you want to go by. Transporter room is standing by, Captain. We're ready to bring you aboard at your command. Well done, Chagrin. Pick us up. Uh, yeah, we'll let this park go a little long. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do friend or foe as well, I think. Let's go ahead and contact Warden Gazan again. Your report on Warden Kratak and the prison riot was disturbing. I have transferred many prisoners to Urapenthe, and this is the first I've heard of corruption. As you know, the Empire does not tolerate fraud or dishonesty. I accept your resolution to the matter, but I am displeased that you did not apprehend Drake. The fact you freed Kimtar also requires scrutiny. If Kimtar were not Ambassador Worf's son, I would demand that you return him to First City at once. However, if you believe there's evidence of further corruption, you have my authorization to pursue this matter discreetly. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Go ahead and to friend or foe. Your investigation leads you to the Vora system, where you attempt to find proof of a plot to destabilize the Klingon Empire. During my time as ambassador, I uncovered evidence that one of the great houses has been corrupted by a foreign influence and is plotting against the Empire. I was thrown into Urapenthe as punishment for digging too close to the truth. The fugitive Drake suggested that we travel to the Vor system. We hope to find evidence that will prove there is an internal threat to the Empire. Yep. Trans up on over. Because why not? It's free.
And let's see, the Vora system is comprised of a class F star orbited by three planets. Vor 2 is a class Q world in an elliptical orbit, and researchers are conducting a long-term study on the planet to determine if it would be suitable for terraforming. Before we go ahead and mission, that a little. Fix ship loadout, technically. And begin fender foe. Captain, we've entered the Vor system. There's a star base in orbit dead ahead. Huh. It's one of ours, but the record's listed as a research facility operated by Eridian scientists. Eridian scientists? That's unusual. The Eridians are not known for their scientific prowess, but the research station is listed as a protected asset. According to your ship's computer, the Eridians have a trade agreement with a human scientist named Amar Singh. He is working with someone in the Empire on a genetic research project. It's unclear what Drake expected us to find here. We will investigate. Approach the station. Contact it. This is research facility Logner Beta 3. I am Plardos Yarden, commander of the station. With whom am I speaking? I am Lieutenant Chitor yeah, Chitorg of the IKS Hokir. Uh, we weren't informed there would be visitors today. How may we serve the Empire? We're here to inspect the station. Commander Plardos, you will provide this ship's computer access to all recent station communication logs. You will also transmit a manifest of shipments and supply delivery receipts for the last month. We expect full cooperation, Plardos. Uh, um, well, this is unexpected. You do realize that we have an agreement with your government and Dr. Singh. Our research is highly classified. You do have some sort of official order granting permission to view these records? Of course. We'll send it right over. Warning. Why are you attacking us? Please, we are not your enemy. Send over the information we requested. You're completely mad. This is a top security installation. You don't have authorization to access our records. We're filing a formal complaint. You're hiding something. Of course we're hiding something. We're conducting classified research. That's why you are not authorized to access station records. You do understand the concept of top secret, don't you? You dare to insult my authority? This is preposterous! We refuse to hand over top secret information without proper authorization. We will defend ourselves, if necessary. You stink of guilt. They powered up defensive cannons and launched small craft. Okay, and... Hit you. There you go. The station commander sent a distress signal. A ship is responding. Heard a cloak. Romulan warbird on sensors. Captain, the Romulans are hailing us. On screen. We received a distress call from this station. We are here to provide 
Assistance. Your assistance is no longer needed. Station Commander Plardos sounded distressed. He mentioned a disagreement with a Klingon vessel. It would be dishonorable of us not to investigate. There are no Klingon vessels here. This is an internal matter. We appreciate the delicate nature of the situation. Would you mind if we spoke with the station? Perhaps we could resolve any misunderstanding. Be our guest. Tell Plardus we'll wait. I find this very suspicious. Why would Romulans respond to a distress call here? Monitor their communications. The Romulans hailed the station on an open frequency, and then immediately switched to an encrypted channel. Hmm. The Romulan ship hasn't raised shields. What are they up to? Alert me if you notice anything else. I don't need to remind you that we're in Klingon territory. The fact that these Romulans are here at all could be the clue we need. Drake said we find evidence, not clues. Captain, the station has transported several crates of goods to the Romulans. There's our evidence. Hail the Romulans. Commander Plados has explained the situation. It sounds as if there's been a miscommunication. Enough. Transfer the contraband you just received to us, now. The foolish bravado of the Klingon Empire. Attacking your own station and then accusing us of wrongdoing. I should have expected something like this. Very well. We'll communicate in terms you can understand. Boring conversation anyway. Battle stations. Um. If it all. Go hostile. There we go. I guess I had to get a little closer for it to go hostile. Ignore me. I'm I'm just an innocent bystander attempting to get away. You did not warp in immediately after seeing me blow up your other ship. That definitely did not happen. Thank you guys. Wait for it to exit combat so we can recloak. Go back in for balls to get us in range and decloak fire. Okay, what do you got to say, the Republic? The Romulan Republic is thankful for your assistance. We had tracked the Tall Shiar to this system, but we would have been outmatched without your aid. You fought well for a Romulan. The Romulan Republic faces many challenges, but conflict with the Klingon Empire should not be one of them. As a gesture of good faith, I'll share with you information that you might find to be of value. I'm listening. We believe Tall Shi'ar agents are collaborating with operatives in the Klingon Empire to steal weaponry and technology. We have uncovered large supplies of Klingon weapons on the planet Nimbus 3 that we believe are being stockpiled there by agents of the Empress. The stolen goods are being transferred through several facilities in the local sector, including this science station. Do you have proof of this? The shipping manifests on the supply crates and the weapons themselves. 
By tracking the flow of goods, we've learned that there are agents in the Klingon Empire transferring stolen supplies to the Tal Shiar. Those supplies are being stockpiled on Nimbus III. If you will help track down the source of those weapons, we will share our data with you. Send us the data, but we make no promises. Transferring the data now. We expect the Klingon Empire to track down the source of these stolen goods and punish those responsible before more weapons fall into the wrong hands. If we discover any further information, we will notify the Empire's ambassador on Mol Rihan. Get me that cook, Lardos. Please listen to me. We were only following protocol. We must ensure that our research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Then why are you trading in stolen goods? We we didn't know the shipments we were transferring were stolen. I, I was told that the crates were medical supplies needed on the war front. We didn't ask questions. Please, show mercy. We were only doing what we were ordered to do. Then do as you're told and send me the data I want. Due to present circumstances, we will forego normal security authorization and provide the files you have requested. We live to serve the Empire. Transfer the files before I lose my patience. We've received the data that Kemtar requested, Captain. It will take some time to analyze these files and track the source of the shipments. In the meantime, we are prepared to leave the system on your command. A depart system. Your officers have analyzed the shipping logs from the research facility. Their findings confirm what the Romulan Republic officer told us. Someone has been routing technology and weapons to the Tal Shiar. And they are going to great lengths to cover their tracks. Do you believe a great house is involved? An operation of this magnitude would require the resources of one of the houses. But the shipments are being routed in such a way to conceal their point of origin. Our evidence is circumstantial. <sighs> it was my eagerness to point fingers without proof that landed me in Urapenthe in the first place. We must exercise patience, and wait for our prey to reveal themselves. Drake mentioned your father. My father is Ambassador Worf. He has many friends, and many enemies. I tried to convince him that one of the houses was moving in the shadows against us. He either didn't believe me, or didn't care. Either way, he made his decision when he refused to act after I was sent to Urapinthe. His pride is a weakness our enemy will try to exploit. Perhaps I can persuade him to listen. You can try, but we must be prepared if he doesn't. We should at least warn him of the danger, even if he refuses to see the knife at his throat. Don't worry, we will be there if they strike. Okay. Transorp, eh. Transorp over to Kronos. fly closer to the planet to beam down. Interesting that they moved the uh, shipyard. Oh, there it is. That's a little bit closer, I think, than where it used to be. Beam down to First City. Find Wharf, there he is. And let's ask Wharf to listen to our story. Perhaps. First, tell me who you are. I'm Lieutenant Jatorg of the IKS Sokir. Greetings. How may I assist you? 
We need to speak privately. That is an odd request. We stand in the courtyard of the Great Hall, and honor has no need of secrecy. If you cannot speak your mind in this place, then I have no desire to hear what you have to say. Very well. I'm here with your son, Kimtar. That is not my son's name. If Kimtar wishes to talk, tell him to come and speak to me. I will not communicate through intermediaries. He said you are both in great danger. He is the only one in danger, unless you have been foolish enough to listen to his tales. But you have already made that mistake. If you have spoken to him, then you have been to Rurapenthe. A great house is plotting your death. I am Gintok to the house of Martok. Lady Sorella has declared vengeance on the house of Jimpok. It would not surprise me if all the great houses wish me dead. Tell my son that I am capable of defending myself. The Romulans are involved. Romulans? That does not make sense. Jim Pock's position towards the Federation and the Tal Shiar is very clear. And in this, he has my house's full support. It would be foolish for any house to make such a connection. However, I would not be surprised to hear you mention the house of Duras. We don't know if Duras is involved. And that is exactly the sort of accusation that landed my son in a penal colony. Tell Kemtar that unless he has proof, he should stay silent. If he is a fugitive from Rurapente, he will only make his situation worse. I do not want to know any more about what you two are plotting. I'll tell him. Has Worf agreed to speak to us? He said that your name is not Kimtar. What name I use is not important. Did you tell him what we've learned? He did not seem concerned. Did you tell him the Romulans are involved? He mentioned House Duras. Given their history, I've considered the possibility that the House of Duras might be involved. Is he at least willing to review our evidence? He wants nothing to do with our investigation. Yaicha! A stubborn old man and he is going to get himself killed we should at least warn house martok agreed if the Jin talk to house martok will not listen we will take our concerns to the house itself martok's son drex is off world i will contact lady sorella and arrange a meeting way to just not have certain lines of dialogue and then add in some extra ones uh, for differences between the voice and the actual text. Don't be discouraged. These events are very disturbing. They paint a picture of a large conspiracy against prominent houses of the Empire. I will work with my contacts to see what else I can learn. And I will notify you when I have enough leads to further our investigation. You do that, Kimtar. Congratulations, Lieutenant. So, that'll be it for this part. I will see you all next time where we will begin the Warzone arc. But until then, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you all next time. Kapla.